Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Kaguya-sama Love is War Season 3 Episode number 8 Reaction. Okay, the previous episode, um, we start with uh, the Hoshin Festival preparations and um, Ishigami and uh, Miko went to uh, the cheerleading club where, you know, like Subama is there and they talk, like, you know, start talking about what to do and uh, a lot of you know like new propositions come up and uh, you know like only one one of them which uh, Miko was very interested in was the campfire and uh, she said like let's do the campfire but everyone was like oh like there's like the whole thing with the problems like you know from the neighborhood you know like they are not going to allow it this and that you know like the whole thing they are talking about so by the end Miko is like no we're going to do this and um, you know we're going to go and ask them for permission and obviously at first everyone was a little bit skeptical and especially like there was like one girl Ono there I think that was her name um, who probably misunderstood you know like thought that she was just all big talk that type of a girl but by the end of it you know like uh, they go and they see how uh, like, you know Miko's reputation in the neighborhood is so good that everyone just gave her permission and Ono there in the end was also like yeah I would also want to have a like on a campfire so that was like you know like a happy ending, and uh, that's uh, the second part was this is like the two girls of the media club or something I don't know, you no know, like they are just fangirling over every character <laughs> in this show, <laughs> and like, asking them for an interview and everything. First it was Kaguya, they like it was like you know they were extra fangirling over Kaguya, then there was um uh, Subame, you know then there was the like you know the the. Uh, but Shirogane, yeah, they were also fangirling over Shirogane as well. Like all, like you know, the the uh, like people, like all the uh, characters, they, they were just fangirling over them. And like you know, it's like a hilarious section where they kind of go and ask each of them what they are doing and this and that. Some like you know, like some insight on this whole uh, situation. And the way they were over dramatically just doing stuff, it was hilarious. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, that was that. And th then the final section was Shirogane trying to uh, <laughs> trying to blow a balloon and failing all the time. And uh, like, you know, in the end, she like, you know, Chika was like, no, I'm not going to help him out. But, you know, her, Chika's inner mom just came out. And by the end, like, you know, like she ended up go going and helping out Shirogane. And she fired, like, you know, in the middle, Shirogane went and asked, like, you know, went for uh, was Kaguya with uh, and sat in the council, uh, the president room, uh, sorry, the student council room, and uh, Kaguya was there. And there was like a little good, like, you know, section of them bonding, you could say, where Kaguya was like, you know, like when Shirogana was showing his vulnerabilities, Kaguya was like, kind of consoled him and said, What he does is like he's like a person who does hard work, and that's what is so great about him. And you know, that was like a nice section, but in the end, you know, even after all of that. Even after they found out the balloons were old, still Shirogane couldn't do it. And Chika was like, why? <laughs> Anyways, let's start. This is episode 8. So yeah, I'll be putting subtitles on the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. Alright, here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, it starts with the opening. Oh my god, I wonder what today's episode will be. It'll probably be like a continuation for the whole Hoshin festival preparations. Most probably.
Okay, let's go. Oh boy. Go through, okay. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> okay, nice. Takoyaki, okay, that's a good. Um, e will, will the oh, okay, really? He's okay. <laughs> Dress cool. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> She's like, no, I need to get confirmed. Like, you know, my brother's. Yeah, my brother's fashion sense. I know it very well. <laughs> oh. oh my god, what the. <laughs> Mad boy. Ah. <laughs> uh. No, it's not Daijobu. What? <laughs> it's like it's telekinesis? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Unib... <laughs> Is that also okay? Okay. Open the door and found okay. Dragon style. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> Putting the sunglasses on. Oh, wow, that's a <laughs> Wait, how is it still fitting him? <laughs> yeah? There you go. <laughs> it doesn't have. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Shoulder pot. Oh, uh, really? Okay. All right. Oh, the dad is here. <laughs> oh, yes. Even dad knows. <laughs> What what are these? Oh my god, these dresses. <laughs> oh no, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Oh my god. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Oh my god. Oh no, what's it what's it taking out? Ah, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Oh really? Okay, interesting. Ah. <laughs> okay, okay. That's nice.
Wow. Oh, obviously Kaguya since Kaguya is. <clears throat> oh my, here we go. Wow, okay. <laughs> he just completely destroyed the mood. <laughs> okay, wow. How? Where did she get? Was she, was she saving it? Okay, okay. Ah. <coughs> <coughs> All right, here we go. The takoyaki stall. <laughs> Everyone's just ah. Uh... <laughs> Yo, the. <laughs> Well, she's embarrassed, you know, because obviously because this is <laughs> There you go. <laughs> ah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Shooting sweet buns. Oh. Okay. Ah. Uh. Wow. Yeah. Oh, this is the legend or whatever. Thank for a recover. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so this is that legend. Okay. <coughs> okay, interesting. <laughs> That's why the whole Hoshin festival? Yeah. Let the burning look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's a legend, so. <laughs> Maybe, but you know. Okay. Well, hard because it's a heart, you know. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> this is the place which. This is what Kanga is like. Yeah, this is good. <coughs> ah, okay. <laughs> there you go. Hmm. It was a plan. Wow. Who knows? Maybe. <laughs> like you can do a lot of other things. Like make like you know cookies heart shaped or something. Like that would like be an interesting like you know like. What the hell? What? Ye okay. Yeah, yeah. This is this is a good, good one. Camouflaged. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Well, um. Okay, so maybe food. Yeah, there you go. I said food. Yeah? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, please. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> oh. Damn that man manga panel in the What? Oh. Yeah, look at his eyes. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Damn, I, I love the way they, they kind of include the manga panels. What? Right, hopefully. Hopefully that happens. Oh! I don't think anyone can find it. Yeah, exactly. You'll have to stitch it yourself or something. <laughs> nope, first time she actually admitted it. I guess. There you go, progress. At least in front of Hayasaka. <laughs> hmm. Faint sense of the mm. I have said this is the biggest news of the year. Oh, the Kabi admitting is that. Foundation for soon. Oh, there you go. Is, is she at school? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Well, because... <laughs> she is not wrong. There you go. You just <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. Oh no. Stop with these delusions. She's just okay. Oh.
Oh my god, here we go. Yeah. Wait, who? Oh, it's Ishigami. <laughs> Damn. Oh, he is not. <laughs> Just. What? Wait. Wait, really? Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh my god. Uh, okay, I guess. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> She's like... <laughs> That's high. True. I guess. <clears throat> I she's she's lying. Yeah, I, I was also thinking that he was he would be like there you go. He'd be like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but will you take it? <laughs> well. Up. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Out of time? Oh yeah, she'll be graduating. I forgot about that. True. Uh Hmm. Oh, okay. But he's like, no, I don't have much time. Oh, no. Oh, okay. He's going to do that. Okay. Okay, okay. My God. <laughs> she is just like. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's a good start. Yeah, even he is like, you know, trying to be. You know what the bad thing about the situation is? Kaguya doesn't even know that Shirokan is going to go abroad. Oh no! Stop! Stop, Chica! Oh my god. Here we go. Please don't give it to him. And I really hope Kaguya is not here somewhere. Uh. 
Okay, he's not giving it to him. Okay. All right. Okay. Wait. I might be able to guess what's going to happen. Maybe they'll confess at the same time. Like that has like a high possibility of happening. Like both are saying that, oh, I'm going to confess if the other doesn't or something. So maybe both of them are going to. Dual confessions arc. Okay. What? And what? So yeah, that's my guess. So I'm guessing both are going to confess at the same time. Like Shirogana is saying that she, he's not going to, like you know, he's going to do it if he sees Kagya is not taking any, you know, like forward steps. And Kagya is like, I'm going to confess. So I'm going, I'm thinking it'll end up in such a way that both confesses at the same time. Something like that. Because I feel like that's like the appropriate way to actually end the whole confession thing. Because the theme of the story is whoever confesses first loses. So I feel like this is like an appropriate way to do this, you know, like both at the same time. Like in that way, nobody loses, I guess you could say it like that. Is there anything else after? Why did the narrator suddenly say and? And then like it abruptly ended then? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so that was episode number 8? Yeah, episode 8. Okay, so we begin with like you know, resuming the whole thing of the Hoshin festival and everyone's preparing and everything. So we start with Shirogane is like you know like a situation where Shirogane is at his house and <clears throat> he asks Kay and tells her that oh I'm going to go and you know like to your school's festival like you know um, so that I can get some pointers and stuff like that so he told it to Kay and Kay was like oh really okay fine then she starts asking him about what is she he going to wear now you know what i would i would like to think of it in this way like you know when he said she said something like oh are you going to like you know wear your school uniform and he was like yeah i'm going to wear my school uniform and she's like oh please don't wear that if you wear that you know like uh, like you know i will not allow it and you should wear something else you know you should dress up properly you know what i think i think she most probably forbade him from wearing the uniform because like shooting uh, academy is quite a prestigious school and everyone knows about it and everyone knows about the president and you know like the vice president Kavi and Shiro uh, Khan everyone knows about them so wearing the uniform you know in the middle of the cultural festival I think it would like you know bring like a huge commotion if people would be like, like you know like there's all the people who know about Yes, a school and about Shirogane would probably just rush in to see what's happening and you know like it'll, it'll be like a huge commotion and I think maybe you know it's just my guess maybe Kay did not want that and that's why he was, she was like oh no you should not wear the school uniform because we saw what happened he went there and that other two girls as soon as they saw him they were like oh she like you know it's, it's a brother he's like you know a president Shirogane and like they knew about him so imagine what would have happened if he actually wore the uniform like not only those two girls everyone would realize like oh that's a person from the Shuchin Academy and everyone would be like just I don't know like 
I think it would, it would actually, the whole place would kind of go crazy a little bit. Or something like that. So, maybe, maybe Kay realized that was going to happen. And that's why she was like, oh, don't, don't wear the uniform. You, you should dress up. And obviously, I'm, I'm also guessing he, she also probably wanted uh, like, she was to kind of dress up. Because, you know, she was, he was going to like a, like a festival or some a school festival. So, at least he, he should like, dress up properly and kind of wear like casual clothing instead of the usual uniform um anyways um so <clears throat> and obviously kane knows his brother very well so she's like i want to see which dress you'll wear bring it out now you <laughs> know wear it dress up and bring it out now in front of me <laughs> and as she feared he wore this he wore this kind of like a very flashy dress you know like like it's like written mad boy <laughs> just like a skull with wings like a random english like you know like you know sentences <laughs> written on the dress you know what the funny thing is i remember having a dress like this when i was like you know like a like an, a kid not a kid but you know like kind of in school and i have to like you know these type of dresses were i feel like it was quite popular during that time <laughs> And like I also remember, like you know, as as they were showing the dress, we saw that the 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 sleeve was stitched to the outer sleeve. I remember having a similar dress to that, like that, where it was just stitched to the outer sleeve. And it was like a fashion way, you know, whatever. And like it's not that you are wearing like an out outer shirt, in, in, like and an inner shirt. No, it was just stitched. Stitched. It was like one shirt. <laughs> And I also remember, like, kind of my dress also had like these type of random English words, you know. That's just, I don't know, like probably <laughs> took it from some newspaper or something or some storybook and just printed it. <laughs> Makes you look cool, you know. So <laughs> that was that was funny, you know. And I don't blame Shirogane. He was he was like, oh, this is fine, you know, like. And he's like, uh, this is not the end. I'm going to, you like, know, kind of just like kind of take, like, kind of what did you say do my hair and put it like you know like put some stuff in it <laughs> wax yeah there you go i'm gonna wax my hair as well so you don't have to worry about it and k was like no stop please don't do that and oh my god it's like random words written in the in the shirt the person who thinks with an opinion is blindfolding by himself and is plugging the ear himself what <laughs> You aren't supposed to give up who is in your soul. Damn, that's hardcore. <laughs> My god, I, uh, this was funny. Anyways, um, at first she was like, like lose the undershirt, but then she realized it's just stitched in. And then she's like, what the hell is up with that backpack, you know? Like, I just change the backpack and the, 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 the trousers as well. There was like, it was folded and there was like random patterns with English words written. That was also part of the whole design. And K is like, oh my god, what the hell is this? <laughs> and there was like di different stuff written in the different legs. Shirogane is like bringing out like a sunglass to wear and K is like, please don't do that. You know, like, wear some normal dress. And first he takes, like, you know, confiscates his back and gives him like a waist pack or whatever waist pouch you call them. And <laughs> he tries to wear it in his waist, and Kay is like, no, don't do that. It's called a waist pouch or waist bag, but you don't wear it like this. Nowadays, you wear it over here. Like, that's the style. And, uh... <laughs> and while all of this was happening, <laughs> Shirogana's dad comes, I think. Yeah, Shirogana's dad comes, and even his dad knows what to do, you know? Like, he's, like, wearing it, like, in his shoulder. <laughs> And K is like, ah, oh, like you're wearing it like that. It makes me feel that you're trying to be young, you know, like that type of a thing. She says. <laughs> but anyways, um, <laughs> she kind of brings out all his clothes, and K is trying to pick some better clothes to wear. But you know, he doesn't have any good clothing, good dress. Now here, like you know, she kind of kind of brings up the whole like you know situation about their family like you know like economic condition and he's like i want to like you know want k to dress up nicely 
that's why i kind of like you know don't look at my own clothing don't give more attention to my stuff you know like obviously I, because like she's like she's my little sister and she's she's a girl i would love to like you know life like you know, i would love to have have her all the like you know um clothing and everything and i would like to like you know for her to dress up instead of me so he's like yeah he like you know, he's thinking all of that in his head and uh, <clears throat> here Shogun's dad is like oh so you don't have like you know proper dresses okay let me give you one thing and he brings out a watch a very expensive watch i think he called it moon watch yeah and uh, I love the f like, and I love the fact that this whole episode was like there was like so many uh, you know like what do you call it so many um, instances where they brought up the moon like this is the one part even where they brought bring up the moon later on as well this whole episode was really like you know involved with the moon and obviously like you, you you guys must know why the moon is being brought up Kaguya Hime you know like the whole uh, princess kaguya thing and you know like in the moon and all that that kind of like you know because of that and because kaguya's name is kaguya that thing anyways um so <clears throat> shogun's dad gives it to him and shogun's dad is like i even managed to buy it after saving for it for three years and i bought it because i like you know like thought i would be able to like you know i like you know i would i would be able to one day be worthy of wearing this and uh, that's what i used to look at the watch and think and i couldn't part with it and uh, he gives it to shirogane and he's like shirogane's like are you sure about this yeah because i'm a man who's given up on a lot of things uh like this this line is kind of interesting because it, it kind of has like a double meaning the first meaning is like he he's giving up a lot of things and that's why he's giving up the watch to him Another meaning is probably, as he said, you know, like I wanted to be in that position one day where I would be able to be, I would be worthy enough to wear this watch. That ideal or that, you know, like convict, uh, the determination or whatever, that goal, he probably had to give up that as well. That's why he's giving that to Shirogane because he was not able to become the person he envisioned him to be becoming. And that's why he probably thinks he's not worthy of the watch or something like that. Like that's another thing he probably gave up. Like this this line has like two meanings, I think. Anyways, um so Oh my god, this part. Like such an you know, such a very like calm mellow music was playing, such a like you know like, what 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 like a nice scene, you know, like a heartwarming scene between dad and son and shirogane was dad i'm going to take real good care of it so suddenly the music just stops and kids like geez that's an old guy watch and, oh boy here we go the whole atmosphere is just gone <laughs> oh my god <laughs> the comedic timings of this anime is amazing i love it I love it. I love this part so much. She just completely threw water in the whole atmosphere. She just ah, that's old, you know. Like, what the hell are you guys even saying? Just buy some new clothing or something. And Shirogane, his dad is just blankly watching at K. <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. And K is like, uh, giving some money, you know. What do you have? And Shirogane's dad like, I I have this two thousand yen coin. And Shiro, no, 5,000 yen coin. And Shirogan's like, I have this 2,000 yen. And <laughs> Kay is like, ah, forget it. And he, she brings out her own birthday money. And uh, I thought, at first I thought it was like money she was saving. But when Shirogan later on says like, oh, that's your birthday money. Why are you using that? I'm like, okay, so that was that money, that birthday money. You remember in the pre one, one of those episodes? So... Yeah, she's like, oh, don't you worry about it, which was nice, you know, like, because K, you know, like, as, as we saw Shirogane, as he was saying, like, I, uh, she, as we, we saw how Shirogane gives up on so many things, just so that, like, you know, like, his sister can get something better. Um, this also shows how his sister in his, in her, like, you know, own way, thinks about her brother and her father as well. So that was nice on this whole section. 
okay then <laughs> next day shivani is out you know he he's, he has worn those clothing that probably k brought from bought for him with the like you know the pouch thing and he's like oh like you know in front of the takoyaki stall <laughs> k is like uh, the two girls beside behind her it's like wait who, is that is that Mr. Shurakan? is that your brother and everyone's just like you know and k is like ah take it and leave like you know no need to stay here <laughs> Shurakan is like oh like i just i came up and dressed up so much why is she acting like this like obviously because she's embarrassed you know like because everyone will you know like like he, he's popular you know even here as well so obviously everyone will start talking about him and everything and maybe like start complimenting him and everything and since it's you know like she's his her brother she's obviously going to get a little bit embarrassed but embarrassed and proud because in the end the face we see you know she was blushing and at the same time she was proud of that oh my brother that is my brother that was a nice little scene that was <laughs> and, then, and then she starts talking about how <laughs> her brother is so annoying she does he does this he does that you know always like you know like tells me stuff always like you know forbids me from doing this from doing that but at the same time he himself is just you know like so clumsy all that just <laughs> you know usual family banter <laughs> okay the next part is with kaguya where <clears throat> where Subame and Akabe is there and uh, I always forget her name Subame or Subaki why the hell um, why do I have so much problem with remembering her name is it Subame or Subaki god <laughs> I don't know why uh, let me check Subame okay there you go Subame not Subaki Subame I'll probably forget her this in the next episode as well like those two names are so similar that i always like you know mix it up subame all right subame she she's also there and she gives like you know kaguya like you know shows what other things that they're going to sell and all and shows like a sample of a heart-shaped chain or a, what is that a chain or a key ring <laughs> something like that now Kagya is like I've always seen this type of a thing before in the previous festival as well. What is this? What is the significance? And she talks about the Hoshin legend, how there was this one girl who was like you know sick, and the person who loved her, uh, oh the the father prayed and received a message of like you know like a young person's heart, burn it, stir it, stir the ashes into the juice of a daikon radish and have a drink it this is such a weird why daikon radish i don't know but anyways um this was the legend and the girl uh, uh, the boy who really liked the girl he gave up his heart and you know that's how this this whole thing um okay uh, the rumor spread and the man who was loved with the in, with the princesses princess offered his heart for the princess and yeah this is like the origin of this whole thing and as Subama says this is the place where everything happened and uh, that's why like you know the, the Hoshin festival happens here every year and this is the legend that has been going on and Kage is like ah like you know what these legends I, I don't care about them but then when she starts talking about when Subama starts talking about um the stuff you know like which is involved with this legend for example like uh like a myth the myth of you know like if, if one person gives like a heart-shaped thing to the other person you know like they forever get you know like uh like you know, get in a relationship this and that that whole section that is the part that kavya is interested in as soon as she starts talking about that talks about his uh, her own uh, sister i think yeah no her brother uh, yeah I think it was brother probably yeah it talks about how like you know they got married and everything and Kaguya's like oh really oh really <laughs> and Kaguya's like fantasizing about himself herself and Shirogane and uh, this is what she's interested in so uh, Subame gives her the sample and she's like here you go you keep it 
and Kaglia is like, what should I do? I do want to give this to the president. And, uh, you know, like she, she goes to the student council room with the, uh, the, the chain, starts thinking about why she is unable to, like, you know, do the, you know, the confess her feelings. And for a moment, she actually said something like, oh, like, you know, I, like, who says that the one who falls in love loses? And the narrator is like, she just denied the whole theme of this show at this moment. <laughs> that was funny. That part was funny, you know, like, because we know the whole theme of this show is like, like love is war, whoever confesses loses. And Kagwe really just said that, oh, who said that? Well, that's the main theme of the show, you know, so. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. So she's like, you know, she's thinking about all these, like, you know, situations and trying to, like, you know, make, uh, like, you know, convenient excuses and trying to justify, like, you know, her confessing and everything. And she's like, what should I do? And then she's like, okay, if I do it in a subtle way, maybe the president will not re understand. And I, I myself said while I'm reacting to it, I said like, oh, maybe like make cookies or something. Maybe say something like, oh, president, I baked this. And, you know, will you taste taste it? something like that she could say and maybe it would be like a heart shaped cookie and that that counts doesn't it i thought he, he she could do it like that but what kaguya comes up with is quite interesting she brings up a handkerchief with one of those polka dots being a heart <laughs> i really thought this was like an interesting uh, method of doing it you know like yeah i like like even if president saw the heart like Kagwe would just feign ignorance, you know, Kagwe could just be like, I don't know, like, yeah, I, I, oh, is it, is there really a heart within the polka dots? Haha, <laughs> how funny, you know, I didn't know about that. She could just feign ignorance like that. But <laughs> anyways, Kagwe starts thinking about what would happen if president gets to know. And she thought about that, thought that, oh, president could just, like, you know, Shirogane could be like, start interrogating her and the whole thing will come out and she was afraid of that so and then he, she comes up with a better idea food you know like a, a, a handkerchief would leave evidence and as i just like i said like you know food i said like you know make heart shaped cookies but what she said was better in my opinion she said like oh make food for example like an apple in the way of a heart or like a strawberry or even better, you know, like bake like a pie or a cake and make heart shaped um, fruits and put it inside them so that it's inside them, you know, and he, he could eat it. And technically it counts as giving a heart shaped thing because the heart shaped thing is inside the cake or whatever. But then she starts thinking about what would happen if the president cuts the pie, the heart would be broken. And she's like, no, I cannot allow that. <laughs> uh. So I, I love this p p section very much because they were actually including, uh, I'm guessing actual manga panels in different sections. It was kind of interesting and kind of unique. And like Kaga is thinking of all of this and then Kaga is like, what the hell am I doing? Why am I so pathetic? Why am I just you know, so much you know, getting troubled with this? And then president comes in and like she sees that the president has like bags under her his eyes she's like what are you doing president you, you should take rest and you kind of says like i've like, you know, like all the people who are doing the kind of stuff for this festival you know, he wants them to succeed they're giving their everything for this festival that's why i should also do that and you know i should um like you know make this festival successful and that's how i would be able to you know like make them happy them their hard work will be rewarded if i work hard as well something like that she said and kagia was like ah this is why i like him and later on she uh, you know like goes to uh, hasaka for advice and asks her about the whole heart thing if he can do it and hasaka's like impossible how is that even how can i bring a handkerchief like that so here you know Hasaka was for a moment Hasaka was like oh you won't even like you know accept that you like him so but this is the first time that Kaguya actually admits in front of Hasaka I think that he likes Shirogane and obviously Hasaka was very surprised and 
here you know there was this whole section of like and they, again they were showing the moon so many times and they were showing how kaguya is thinking about like oh up until now there was this weird burden on my shoulders but as soon as i told hasaka it is kind of lightened so maybe if i confess fully this whole burden will completely go away but then also at the same time she was thinking about what would happen if president rejects her this and that you know all these things on the other hand shogun is like you know kind of obviously studying for going to the us and uh, while kaguya is there in the come to the school at night to see what's happening and uh, here again kaguya is just thinking about the whole situation of what will happen if shirogane says like oh i also like like you but as a friend <laughs> you know the whole friend zone situation and love and like the difference between that and she's like oh no no i cannot i cannot allow that to happen i cannot like you know i cannot bear that and here he can she kind of like you know again says like huh why will i confess you know i won't confess first <laughs> again back to square one so while all of this was happening she goes in front of the the, the class and here she meets her ishigami and sees everyone is there so ishigami the, the the guy i forgot his name the captain or whatever Subame and Miko is there and we can we see Subame is kind of like you know just putting his her hands over the captain's shoulder and everything and obviously Ishigami was not happy and like you know kind of envious or jealous about the whole situation so <clears throat> the most shocking thing happens here what's her name Kobachi okay Kubachi, I think that's her, is that her first name, I think? Yeah, that's her first name, isn't it? Wait, what's her second? Osaragi, okay, there you go, Osaragi. No, no, sorry. Osaragi is the guy's name. Oh, no, wait, maybe that's not his, her first name. Just a sec. Anyways, Kobachi, that's her name. I, I, I forgot her name. The glasses girl. You know, who's like Miko's friend. She comes in and she's like, oh, hello, how are you doing? You know, and, and Osaragi, the guy, also goes away outside. And Kaguya's obviously eavesdropping on the whole situation. And she, Ishigami's like, wait, you know him or something. And <laughs> she's like, yeah, I'm dating him. <laughs> there was like a huge lack of, like, you know, like, like, like a time gap of them actually it actually coming in their head and them realizing what she said and she comes like wait what really and she's like yeah like obviously like you know it just happened like we were just here we kind of met each other and then we texted texted and she he was like oh should we date and i was like yeah why not and there you go everything has happened and she talks about how like, you know the situation of like you know the cultural festival or like a festival Kind of heightens the chances of a confession succeeding like 60 percent chance and how this cultural festival magic or whatever she called because of that a lot of people becomes couples and she talks and she herself says that yeah because of that my confession also like you know not confession but we also started dating and all that and kage was just listening you know i was like oh really oh really <laughs> listening to all of those things and uh, like Ishigami is like, oh, okay, that's cool, and he goes out, and I knew this was coming. Ishigami is like, yes, I knew. Like, I'm like, I'm so happy. Like, you know, I thought that um, uh, Subame and the president, uh, the the uh, Osaragi might be, you know, dating or something in a relationship, but no, that's not the case. No, <laughs> she's free. <laughs> there's no obstacles in front of me, and he starts screaming and everything. Like, there's like weird visuals being shown like you know him actually uh, digging a hole and coming out of the hole finally seeing the light on the other side of the tunnel that type of you know like things they were showing and kagya is just be behind her kagya's like why are you screaming <laughs> and then kagya's like yeah i can understand what's happening you know like you are also probably thinking of uh, confessing to subame and here uh, ishigami is like no i have no intention of like you know Doing like a calculated confession like this but at the same time i can i know that she'll be graduating soon you know 
that's why i don't have much time you know i within this small amount of time i'll have to confess and i'll have to like you know just <clears throat> yeah like i'll, I'll have to come the, the whole thing has to come to some kind of conclusion either she rejects me or she accepts so he ishigami is like that's why i'm, I'm like you know i'm kind of hurrying about this whole situation and uh, he talks about how he thought of uh actually having like a better score and then confessing and then in the end she he was also kind of having second doubts of whether should i, should I do it or not but then kaguya was like no you should definitely do it go and confess you know uh, you know what's better confess now <laughs> that's even better go and i can i can understand like kaguya is trying to project herself in ishigami and uh, that's what she has been doing for quite a few like you know episodes and seasons she's projecting herself in ishigami you know like where you know ishigami is kind of in the similar situation to kaguya where he likes someone but he cannot confess of the fear of rejection and that's why like you know if ishigami like you know for for feeds the whole thing and she he gives up kaguya it would be something like kaguya also giving up so Ish, Ish, kaguya is like no you have to do it you know like you should not give up <laughs> because he she himself kind of pro is projecting her own thing into on him and if she he gives up it'll be kaga giving up in a in a way as well <laughs> ishigami is like yeah i know like you know I'm, I'm i'm going to try my best and i'm going to confess in this festival and then we get to see the whole section where uh you know like shirogane and chika is there with like a hard balloon and i was just saying i was like please chika don't hand that to shirogane because i was thinking it was going to go in that way you know chika is going to like say something like oh president like, you know here grab this <laughs> shirogane is going to grab it and kaguya would be standing behind her them i thought that was going to happen nothing like that happened which i was quite surprised about i really thought that was going to happen but either way you know that didn't happen and uh, here like you know in the end they kind of show us like you know little glimpses of everyone like you know shirogan is there chika is there kavya is there and subame is there you know on, on in front of the stage and subame is just hyping everyone up and like you know the narrator kind of in the end says that like what what did he say just a sec the cultural festival and dual confessions arc okay so what i'm guessing here is like dual confessions mean probably Ishigami's confession and Kaguya's confession. That's why dual confession. Now, as we know that Shirogane said that if Kaguya doesn't confess, I'm going to do that. And Kaguya is also thinking of confessing. So what I am thinking, as I said before as well, what I'm thinking is going to happen. Both are going to confess at the same time, some way. And that's how this is going to end. This whole thing is going to end. So I might be wrong though, but I feel like this is like an appropriate way of doing this because as, as we know, the whole theme of Kaga Sama Love is War is who, whoever confesses loses or whoever like, you know, uh, falls in love first loses. So if they confess both at the same time, you know, both would win at this, like, you know, in, in, in a way. And I feel like that's like the appropriate way to end this because, you know, this, this whole thing of winning and losing, that's not the point here. The point here is about confessing and about like you know accepting your feelings and make the other person know about it so ending it in this way would be kind of nice you know like both confesses so neither win nor neither loses both wins or something like that and um, yeah, you know what i feel like in the end maybe back like, you know the episode where kaguya and shirogane will uh, like you know uh, confess or maybe the episode when the anime on the manga will end you know in that episode or in that manga chapter in the end the narrator i think it was that's going to happen in the end the narrator is going to say something like uh, kaguya and shirogane both wins you know like just like how they kind of do the whole section of oh kaguya wins or like you know shirogane loses this that the narrator kind of says it in that way doesn't he so I, I i think like i really hope in the end like that happens like in the final manga panel you know in the end it's written kaguya and shirogane both wins something like that that'll be kind of cool i don't know anyways but yeah that's it um that is my reaction to episode number eight of kaguya sama love is war season three if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Kaguya-sama Love is War. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.